everyone, Laurel Beard here, long time no see. Today I have a special video in post because I am sharing somewhat of a labor of love with you all. If you know me at all, you know some of my favorite inks are the Catherine Pooler inks. I just love them, they're juicy, they have so many fun properties. They stamp well, they're solid, uh, you can watercolor with them. There's just a lot you can do and you can check my YouTube channel for some other things I created using the inks and different techniques. But today, I wanted to show you guys a layering guide that I created. Layering stamps are huge, there's many, many companies that have layering stamps out. And I just wanted to put together a color layering guide for my personal use that I'm sharing with you all that I think looks good together. Now this is a labor of love because there's many inks in the Catherine Puller line. She has the party collection and the spa collection and um, we've got a couple new colors releasing in the next couple of weeks. So it's, it's always just, it's always fun. It's always a party. So I wanted to create my own layering guide. So this is what I did and I have all the information as far as what colors go with that and all this good stuff all laid out for you over on my blog post, but I wanted to show you quickly how I store all of my my swatches and whatnot because that might not come through as great over on the blog. So these are some coin pockets that I got off of Amazon. I'll link to the ones that I use. And I just cut pieces of cardstock. I used my Nina Solar White cardstock and I cut them to two by two. And then I just started playing and figured out what layered with what. So it was a lot of trial and error and it really took me um, all day <laughs> to come up with all these beautiful layering combinations. But that's what I did, just playing around and figuring out what goes with what. And, some, and it, at some point I pulled out my uh, little nifty color wheel here with, that has some foam tape stuck on it. But goodbye um, to help me figure out what colors go together and there were some really unique combinations that personally I wouldn't have thought would have gone but after trying them out they work so here's the guide and then on the back of each side I have the colors that I used here on each one so I have the three right here are three stamp our three stamp layering guide. And then Catherine also released, or it's coming soon, I should say, um, the, a four stamp guide. So I've got a guide that has good three color combinations and then the roses and whatnot have four color combinations, as you can see. So um, I also swatched out the ink colors. Now for me, I store all my inks together. I used to separate them out by party and spa, but I found that I was combining those a lot when layering or mixing colors or whatever. So I just store them all in rainbow order and I indicate which one is in the spa collection just by putting an S in the bottom corner there. So I have again all the, the colors charted out here on the back, swatched out, written out, whatever. Um, and I found this worked a lot better. I used to use for her ink, something similar to this, where I would just kind of take a paper and swatch it out and I'd flip through it. But this became a hassle because she has so many inks. So it was not working out for me, so I did this. I think Maureen actually said, hey, why don't you create some swatches and some coin pockets, which funny enough, I had these pockets in my craft room. And that's how this came to be. And this is the best thing. If you wanna see if something goes, you can just pull it out and line it up. Oh, by the way, I know my butterflies are upside down. My five-year-old also pointed out to me, I was supposed to stamp it this way. But seeing as how these butterfly wings don't even have a body, it's okay. <laughs> it's just for swatching purposes. <laughs> so anyway, so that's what this is. And I have a whole bunch more details, still photos, and I'll lay out exactly all the combinations that I used. But this is how I store them. And also it's good to keep things together because you could take this swatch out and flip over here and see if this and this color will work together. I just find this works really well. It's very easy, very convenient. And then I just combine them with some ring hooks here and then I just hang them on a hook off to the side so I always can reach for it. So this is what works for me. And again, all of the laying combinations that I have found myself are linked over on my blog and I'll continue to build this out. I have room to build as you can see uh, based on other combinations that I find or other combinations that I see out there on the web that I like, I'll put in here. And also as she releases more colors, um, it'll be in there. Uh, one of the colors in this swatch is actually releasing this week and it's called Over Co Coffee. It was in the um, uh, SOA, Stamp of Approval. So this color is releasing this week along with two other colors that I don't even have in here yet because they're just that new. So uh, I'll continue to grow it as we go, but aside from my upside down butterflies and no bodies, 
this works for me. <laughs> I hope you find this helpful. And if you have any color combinations that you have using her inks that I don't have in here, let me know. I want to know. I think there's just endless possibilities of what you can do as far as color layering. So thanks so much for watching. And be sure to head over to my blog post at laurelbeard.org to see still shots and all the combinations that I found written out. If you are unfamiliar with her inks, uh, check my YouTube channel for some other videos and all of the inks in this line and that she carries and that is created are all linked over on my blog. There's so many, there's not enough room in the YouTube description to list them all. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.